here today. What do you mean? No. It's Apparently, almost two o'clock though. Everybody's gonna get out. Closing time. No. Apparently, you're done doing Manhattan and everything is really uh, slow tonight. It's been like this all night. Pretty much. I mean, it was a little bit busier earlier, but not not like the typical. How, have you made any arrests? Not yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> no. Bummer. <laughs> Hoping. <laughs> I noticed that they had a couple of people pulled over on a Torrance. So, okay. have you had any arrests that way? No. So, what will happen is they'll come up and they'll see this and they'll flip around. Yeah, we saw that guy yeah. in the parking lot. Sometimes they're. Why is that not okay to flip a U turn right there? And no, it's not that it's not okay, but I mean, the vehicle code is that thick. So, I think the, the one up there right now, when he ended up turning, he, he was screeching his tires. Probably. Is that illegal? Screeching your tires? Not necessarily, but I think he, he started to speed up the hill. So about the vehicle code, <laughs> vehicle code being this thick, mm -hmm. too many laws, don't too you think? Too many laws? Yeah. I mean, don't, I, there's got to be some contradicting in there. I don't know. I don't read them. <laughs> Do you, have you read them? <laughs> no, not all of them. Because there's got to be something contradictory in there. I mean, if it's that Possibly. thick. Possibly. A lot of them is all like vernacular and punishment. Our, uh, like, revenue. Uh, it is what it is. It's no. nonsense is what it is. <laughs> no, not all of it, but you can this come on. You enforce these laws, but you and you don't have a memorized. I mean come on. That's too much. No? No what? You said no. Like it's not too much. Like I said, I don't make the laws. That's okay, I understand. I mean there there is a need to. I agree, to a certain extent. I don't know if that many. <laughs> and like I said, a lot of it's terminology, a lot of it's definitions. They're not all laws. But... So you guys film that's just in, uh, that's just traffic. What's that? That's just traffic. <laughs> yeah, and, code. <laughs> and then you have health and safety code and building a code. Yeah, code. exactly. It's <laughs> a lot. What are you guys filming for? And I'm not saying as in like, why are you filming us? I'm like, no, I know. I got your tone. <laughs> Um, why? Because we just go and police the police. <laughs> police the police? Yeah, we just Make check sure out. that we're doing our job right? Sometimes. Last time I did a Torrance, nobody talked to me. I literally refused. Last to time we did a Torrance, there, everybody was friggin' yeah, rude. There last time, maybe. Up on the hill? Anza? No. No? I think last yeah. time I saw you, we were, we were, we were <laughs> way up on the hill. No, you I... You guys am... came out of nowhere, and there was a... It was just me. Is that the Mercedes? With paper, with paper plates? plates. Yep. <laughs> you guys what? were mean that night. We didn't say anything. I wasn't there. We didn't say anything. Maybe that's why I thought you were mean. <laughs> See if you would laugh so they... and be personable like this. I wouldn't have well, what we got is this. So we're well, like... A lot of times we don't know what you're doing. I know, and the street's dark and I get it. But nobody said anything to us, so we're like, okay. So we're just recording. You like this? Yeah, okay. totally. I would totally okay. talk back to you. you might have what are you talking about? Yeah, you were there. Rocket ship. Oh, I was talking about the checkpoint the last time. That wasn't a checkpoint. He's not. I don't, oh, he's, oh, he's that talking was about you and the, those four there. over there. Yeah. I think you, were, you, you guys were saying, with like, that couple. stop them. They didn't do anything. And they we had, didn't say that. We would never. I, I think you could, we would never. We, oh, nice one. Nice try. You did. Nice try. I, believe it or not, I have a really good memory. Actually, but we have it all on video, so that's good. Do you guys sell your videos? Or do you have, Who like, sells their channel? video? I've never made one penny off of my videos. Who sells them? Yeah, I didn't know people sell who sells them? Well, if you're so you go to these calls, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, if there's something that super interesting happens in like a news outlet, no, I hasn't. I guess I haven't found anything uh, valuable think, uh, enough. What's your name? Junger. What's your name? Jay. Edmiston. Edmiston. Yeah, Jay. Now they're gonna edit it, and make us look. And what? What? <laughs> make you look bad? Well, you get. <laughs> I can't make you look you? anything that you're not. Oh, so you're you know, saying we look bad? Not at all. No, not, not nice. at all. I'm just you saying, if you look bad, it. it's only because you did something. It's not because I recreated something. Well, we are all human. We are human. Oh my gosh. Wait, what? Is that the going thing? No, that was Redondo. <laughs> and that's why, you know, we have the discretion. So going back to that penal code or the vehicle code, right? That's why we have discretion in, you know, when we enforce the law and when people get tickets, when people get, you know, 
warnings. Mm -hmm. I think 90% of the time I give warnings. Probably even more than that, 99% of the time. Really? There are nights that come out here, nothing happens. A lot of people get warnings, no tickets, no arrests, no nothing. 90 percent though that's yeah but that's easily really easily how many stops do you think you make in a night sometimes zero not this sometimes 10 sometimes 15 zero sometimes on a 10 8 hour shift mm -hmm. really and sometimes we go to call to call to call sometimes you know we've been working you know doubles or so like this uh day period i you know i've worked over 50 hours of overtime so there are going to be nights where I'm tired and you're like... How? What do you mean how? How? That's a lot of money. Well, what do you mean how? Like, like there, how many, you don't have enough officers that mm -hmm. they can have a full 40 hours or We're whatever? Down over 20 officers. How? Why? What happened? Just uh, How are you re down? What are, they, are people re retiring or... People retiring, people, you know, going to different departments, not being able to uh, retain officers, people not making training. People not wanting to be police officers. They you quit, mean, you mean? What do you mean? They, 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 go, they get in officers. and then they're like, ah, it's not for me? No, people just not. So, have you applied to be a police officer? Like three or four times, they won't take me. Really? No. Oh, <laughs> you don't want to be a police officer, right? Um, uh, I don't think I, don't I would think fit in. I don't think they'd so like me very I much. Mean, <laughs> so, once they, but they've gone through like the academy and everything? No, and then they, so like when we got hired, there were, when you first do your written or apply, right? you know, 500, 600 applicants. And now we have maybe 90. And how long ago was that? How long have you been? 10 years. Years? 10 years? So that's a lot, big difference in 10 years. Yeah. I mean, obviously it's not as luxurious. Anymore. Glorious as it is. <laughs> was it? That's what I was going to say. I think so. Yeah, I think that. Oh yeah, there was a time when. There was a time when, you know, it was like, you're the hero, but it there's. still can be. Oh yeah. And yeah. to a lot we are. Well, yes. Yeah. Uh, don't get me started unless you want to be here for three hours. <laughs> <laughs> I, I see both sides of it. I always, I'm trying to be fair. Like, so, so this, is this YouTube or what is this? Yeah. yeah. yeah to say, if you edit all this and make something strange, I'm going to be disappointed. You haven't given me any reason to okay, you throw a comment can't. there and be like, hey. It, and this, <laughs> believe it or not, this is how we are 99% of the time. And yeah. I wish that more police officers would do this you know, PR type thing and talk to people instead of the, well, or, I don't, I don't you know. I we're supposed to. See, why not? And Yeah, well, okay. Well, talking about incidents, but I mean, I can talk to you all day long. Right? Okay. Yeah, but, but I, like when we ask opinions, like, what do you think about this? Don't you think there are too many laws type thing? And a lot of times I get, I can't comment or I don't want to, you know what I mean? I get a lot of that. Okay. And it's like, you're not allowed to have a brain. You can't okay, think for yourself. Say, and it just irritates me. <laughs> How do you make decisions on the job if you can't even answer a simple question like that? You know what I mean? It might just be come with, come with delivery or, you know, a, right off the bat when we see people filming, you know, does it make me happy? No. It, sometimes it'll it'll anger me, like, why are they doing it? But I understand. Right. But approach is everything. Yeah. And you approached us and you're like, hey, so blah, blah, blah. And it was like totally, it, like, no problem. It'd be a lot easier I re to I have respond a, in kind. one on one or a two-on-one -on -one conversation when I know it, you know, the camera's not facing at me. Well, two-on-two, two, then there you go. <laughs> it's pretty even playing field. <laughs> and except you guys have weapons, I don't. So it's not so even. Yeah, I noticed you're pretty quiet. <laughs> He's like... Those cameras can be... Yeah, we have guns per se, but those could be used just as... It can't kill you. No, well, it can kill you. Can it? Yeah, you use that strap, you could strangle someone with it. Not as okay. in our non, like, I don't know if I have enough strength to do something like that. Um, I mean, you'd be surprised. Well, by the time I got it around your neck, the gun would be, um, be dead, so I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> yeah, if it has to do with something with, like, an, an incident or something that happened, then, yeah, we can't talk because... Right, and that's we understandable. A, we have a PIO for that, but... Right. Yeah, but, yeah. like... Yeah. It's not those kind of things. There's just general, just, like... Yeah, if you want to just talk shop, you know, Yeah. Talk shop. A lot of it's opinion, and it's, like, it seems like they're told not to yeah, like that, speak to the public because it may not go with what the department's looking to tell the public type thing like yeah, so everything that we've said right now is I mean it's just yeah, there's yeah I mean there's nothing Ooh. I don't see anything bad about it I get a lot of 
can't answer that. Like, what's his name at the harbor? Would what? you say, what do you think about re poli uh, recording the police? Do you have any other questions? <laughs> really? No comment. Do you guys identify yourselves? I know you did for us right now, but do you guys identify yourselves whenever, if anybody asks you for your name or badge number? For Always? For part, typically when that's happening, they're getting the ticket. So we just tell them it's on the ticket. Mm -hmm. um, but it goes back to approach, you know? Uh, some people will be, you know, jerks. And, hey, you know, I want your name or badge number. Like, well, here it is. In that situation, you know, incident themselves they know, you know hey here's the ticket he didn't give me you know he didn't get my name or whatever he, they can you know file a personnel complaint and go that route but with with today's day and age i mean it's, it's not that hard to find out you just make us work for it yeah uh, yeah <laughs> at least you're being honest it's, it's all an approach like i said in uh, a typical night i mean i might not give anyone tickets most, I, I could probably talk for most of us out here. We get honest people. It's a lot easier to cut people breaks. I mean, we don't. We can't. We can't pull people over for nothing. Right. You know, we can't I just mean, make stuff up. So, you know, whether it's you know someone's on their cell phone or they were speeding, or <clears throat> and some people might not have an idea what they did. But when I go, hey, that stop sign. Yeah, you rolled through it. You didn't come to a complete stop. They, they, they typically will go, oh yeah. You, you know what you've done once so a, a little bit of honesty goes a long way a lot of bit of honesty goes <laughs> so if they're like oh i'm sorry yeah then you're more likely to be like all right just 100 percent. i pull someone over hey you're on your phone yeah i know i was on the phone i was talking to my kid all right hey you know that's illegal yep oh there's another issue what's that you guys are uniformed officers and when somebody shows up shouldn't the demeanor be the same but the procedure is not what you interpret and what they interpret and what everybody's you can't you, it seems like you guys make up your own rules or twist it the way you want and you call it discretion but you never know if you're going to get an angry officer if you're going to get a friendly one who's going to be like oh that's you know what i mean it's like when you go into a there's a store or a or a restaurant mm -hmm. your server shows up you can't have bitch server show up and be like, you, this is not okay, you well, know? You can. Well, you can, but she's probably happens. going to get fired. Well, she's she, not going to be there long. She or he would likely get a bad tip. Right. But so. if you complained, she would, or she, he would get in trouble. They don't just... It depends. Sometimes, like, just like you and me, we, we all have bad days. And you can understand that in our profession, we do see awful stuff. We do run into awful people. Right. We do run into nice people. And we do see the nice stuff. But... You know, before that, that that traffic stop or that you know that contact, one doesn't know if we just got done, you know, going to a fatal right. car accident where a family had just been killed, or then we went to a house where some dad got pissed off, you know, tried to kill his you know his mother-in-law, shoots his three-year-old in the forehead, and then kills himself. So yeah. sometimes we. So after something like that, do you go back out, or yeah. are you? No, so you're back. all frazzled and you go back out there. Back to work. So then, but <laughs> well, when you shoot somebody, don't you guys usually have like a paid vacation after that or like some sort of um, break? It, it's of, not like you're like, hey, here's your toaster and your trip to Hawaii. Yeah, you here's can your go, parting gift. <laughs> you go on administrative leave and you have to go and see, talk to the psychologist to make sure you're okay, you're fit for duty. What's the time period after that? Um, it all depends on. Typically, it's, it's three days, but. But it depends on what happens with, you know, the psychologist. Some some people, some departments, you know, that happens and they never go back. Obviously a traumatic experience. Right. Something that none of us want to go through. I don't know. But, you know, we deal with those things and then sometimes we go right. and pull you over. And right, and it's like, yeah. And, you just, and see that, I mean, that's why you either shouldn't be doing it or it's not fair to that person who doesn't know anything about what you're going through in your head and you're all like you know they have a gun you're all sketchy or whatever you know what i, I mean whatever's a, going on i have a gun have you felt threatened no like you think okay do they have a gun because you just got done with a well i go you know on a traffic stop that's the most dangerous part of our job
plaga 